If you've ever run a redirect offer and test in Target, you've probably noticed that the referring information uh, passed to your eventual landing page gets dropped. Um, so what I've done is I've put together a quick proof here to show how you could potentially pass the referring information through the redirect. Now, this probably isn't the most elegant solution and it definitely needs to be tested across browsers and for timing issues to make sure that uh, it works in all instances, but at least this gives you an idea of, of the possibility of what you can do to, to capture that redirect. So for this proof, it's really simple. There's three pages. There's a page on my site, emptymind.org, that is going to link to a page on keystonesolutions.com, which has an inbox on it and is part of a redirect offer, which will redirect to my eventual landing page. If we take a look at the redirect page here, this is the page that I'm linking to from Empty Mind. You can see that we have got a inbox on the page called Redirect Global. And if you're not familiar with redirect options, it simply uses JavaScript window.location.replace to redirect to a URL that you specify in your redirect offer within Test and Target. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this runs. So I've got HTTP Fox running so we can take a look at the referring information. Uh, so it'll, it's easier to illustrate the point here. I'm going to go ahead and click Launch Redirect Test. It's going to redirect to my eventual landing page called landingpage.html. And let's take a look at the image request here. And you can see that our refer is being reported as keystonesolutions.com slash redirect.html, which was my intermediary page. Um, and it's not the actual landing page, or excuse me, it's not the actual refer that should be passed through to the landing page uh, for my reporting. So uh, if this was coming from an external site, if this was coming from search, um, and I had marketing channels or other things set up to look at referring information and potentially other things that are passed in that refer, um, I would be missing that and uh, that would impact my reporting uh, within Site Catalyst. So let's take a look at a potential option on how we can address that issue. So uh, if we go back to our redirect page, you can see that I'm writing a cookie here called ref and I'm simply passing in the document.refer. Now this is on my, my redirect page that's actually going to be redirected. It has my inbox on it. If we then go ahead and take a look at um, our landing page, this is where I want to redirect to. I've added a simple function here. I'm going to go ahead and comment this line out. Uh, we get the cookie value of ref, and then we set the site catalyst variable s.refer to the value of that cookie. Now, you probably want to add some additional logic in here to make sure you don't overwrite valid refers, but this is, again, just proofing out the point of passing the refer through that redirect page. So let's go ahead and save this file, pull it out of the way, and we will go back to uh, our empty mind site, I'll clear out our console. Let's, let's click redirect test. And let's come down here and look at the refer. And you can see now, instead of uh, keystonesolutions.com the intermediary page, we're actually reporting the refer as the original page that referred the traffic to the site. So again, this, this probably needs a little bit more proofing out, uh, but at least it will give you an idea of potential solution for passing the refer through a test and target redirect.